here we can see the control panel of the dishwasher once you've unscrewed it and removed it from the door. First, we're going to check the resistance of the thermistor. That acts as a thermostat in the dishwasher. Set your multimeter to 200,000 ohms. That's 200K as shown in this image. Now, measure the resistance between the two blue wires shown here. The reading should be 60. That's 60,000 ohms. If the thermistor and the wiring to it is correct. Next, set your multimeter to 200 ohms. This is the lowest scale as we are now going to measure the resistance of the element and the wiring to it. Touch one probe to the black wire on the switch, the main on off switch of the dishwasher. Touch the other probe to the single purple wire in the connector to the right, as pointed to by the arrow in the picture. The reading should be about 30 ohms. This would mean that the wiring to the element and the element itself are functional. If at this point you have an incorrect reading for the um, element, then we will look to see if the wiring is damaged and also test the element. If the wiring reading was wrong for the thermistor, and again we either check the wiring to the thermistor or it's the thermistor itself that's defective. If the reading for the element was wrong, then locate the element, which you'll find underneath the dishwasher to the right. You can access it by removing the panel underneath your kicker board. Um, that's remove the kicker board along the bottom of your kitchen, remove the panel that's lined up with the dishwasher down there, and then you'll find the element to the right down there. Find this connector that I've got arrowed here in the picture and put your multimeter across that set to 30 and see if you get a reading. If you do get a reading and you didn't get a reading for the wiring, then you know the wiring is broken. If you don't get a reading for that, then you must replace the element and that is your problem. If however you did get a reading that was correct for the element, but you earlier got a reading that was wrong for the wiring, then look down here where the green arrow shows on the side of the door, there is a plastic casing that holds all the wires as they go down under the door, under the dishwasher door, and this is where they'll have broken. And they put this casing here so that the broken wires, when they do eventually break, won't touch the metal of the dishwasher. They'll always break eventually as they flex every time you open the door. Uh, if you open this up carefully, you'll find your broken wire most likely in there. And you'll need to make a joint in the wire up near the control panel and another joint down underneath the dishwasher and then feed the wire between the two and um, join it together each end and everything will be fixed. Uh, I would suggest putting the wire inside a piece of tubing or something as it goes down the front of the dishwasher and under so that next time it breaks again it doesn't touch the dishwasher metal parts. So in summary, you check the resistance of the two blue wires to see if the thermistor is at fault. You check the resistance of the purple and black wire to see if the element is at fault. If neither of those are at fault, the control panel needs to be replaced. If one of those is at fault, then you need to establish if it is the wiring or if it is the actual item. So next, your resistance check the element. If that reads 30 then and the wiring did not, then you know it is the wiring. So then you look down the side of the dishwasher where I showed and if the um, inside that case in the wire is broken, you can feed a new piece of wire between the control panel and down underneath the dishwasher and join the two together with crimps, um, making sure you protect the new wire from touching metal if it breaks by putting it in a piece of tube. Um, if it is the element, you can replace the element, um, which is easy enough to unplug and plug a new one in. There's plenty of videos on that. Um, the main take homes from this video probably are the resistance of the thermistor, which is 60,000, and um, that's not really documented anywhere else. Uh, it's pretty much known the resistance of the element is 30, so that's cool. Um, what else can I say? Any hints? I think that's about it, really. Um, good luck.